Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. Last five videos I have explained you the detail regarding inventory control and stores management. Now in this video I am going to start the problems on this topic of inventory control. So before starting the problems, I expect that my viewers have already watched all the theory videos. Be perfect about the concepts. What do you mean by inventory? What are the inventory decisions? What is the importance of inventory? Then we have discussed about the techniques of controlling the inventory. That means uh, different levels are there, reordering level, maximum level, minimum level, apart from that EOQ. Then selective inventory control technique like ABC, XYZ, BED, etc. So if you have not watched the earlier videos, I suggest you go to the playlist of my channel. Select the subject operations management. Select the videos of inventory control and stores management. Watch all the videos. Be perfect about the concept. Then we can be able to start the problems. In this video, first video on problems, three problems are selected. Two problems on EOQ and one problem on stock levels. So before starting the problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Without having the problems, you cannot understand my lecture no, and you cannot understand my video. So always keep ready the problems. Take the screenshot of the points which I have written on the board, then I'll explain every point in detail. See the first problem. The annual requirement of an item in a firm is 1,44,900 units. This is the annual usage, annual consumption, annual requirement. The cost of placing an order is Rs. 450 and the carrying cost per unit per annum is 10% of the cost of the item. The cost per unit of the item is 36. You are required to find out the EOQ and the number of orders to be placed in a year with the above data and when the cost of the item decreased by 12% and the cost of the order increases by rupees 75. So under different situations we have to find out EOQ. Economic ordering quantity. It is that quantity which should be ordered from the supplier so that the ordering cost and carrying cost are minimum. So in order to keep the aggregate of carrying cost and ordering cost minimum, we need a quantity. That quantity is called economic ordering quantity. So when the business places the uh, order to the supplier according to EOQ, then definitely the ordering cost and carrying cost will be minimum. Now, what is the formula for calculating EOQ? EOQ is equal to 2CO by I under root where C stands for annual consumption. In our problem, annual consumption is given 1,44,900 units. And O stands for ordering cost per order. It is given in the problem as rupees 450. And carrying cost, I is equal to carrying cost per unit per annum. So here it is given 10%. 10% of cost per unit. The cost per unit is 36 rupees given in the problem. So 10% of 36 is 3.6. Now substitute 2CO by I under root. 2 into 1,44,900 into 450 divided by 3.6 under root. So after root you will get 6018.72. If we round it off it will become 6019 units. This is the EOQ. While watching the video I always suggest you keep a notebook calculator pen ready. And note down the imme immediately the formula which I am explaining. Because whatever lecture I am giving, again and again, if you listen, if you write it down, then only you can be able to remember, you can be able to get the confidence on the topic. Now we got EOQ 6019 units. Now number of orders to be placed in a year. How many orders we have to make? Annual requirement is 1,44,900. This is the total requirement for one year. And every time when we place the order, we are placing the order for 6,019 units. 
तो हाउ मेनी सच ऑर्डर वी रिक्वायर द फॉर्मूला इज एनुअल रिक्वायरमेंट डिवाइडेड बाय ऑर्डरिंग क्वांटिटी तो रिमेंबर द फॉर्मूला नंबर ऑफ ऑर्डर टू बी प्लेस इन अयर इज इक्वल टू एनुअल रिक्वायरमेंट डिवाइडेड बाय ऑर्डरिंग क्वांटिटी सो वन लैख फोर्टी फोर नाइन हंड्रेड डिवाइड बाई सिक्स जीरो वन नाइन इट कम्स टू ट्वेंटी फोर पॉइंट जीरो सेवन तो राउंडेड ऑफ यू गेट ट्वेंटी फोर ऑर्डर तो इन वन इयर द बिजनेस हैज टू मेक ट्वेंटी फोर ऑर्डर ईच ऑर्डर सिक्स थाउजेंड नाइनटीन यूनिट्स देन इट विल बी सफिशियंट फॉर वन इयर रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ वन फोर्टी फोर नाइन हंड्रेड द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ दिस प्रॉब्लम इज वॉट इज द इओ क्यू इफ द कॉस्ट ऑफ द आइटम डिक्रीज बाई ट्वेल्व परसेंट प्रीवियसली द कॉस्ट ऑफ द आइटम वॉज थर्टी सिक्स रुपीज पर यूनिट कॉस्ट इज थर्टी सिक्स नाउ इट इज आस्किंग यू टू रेड्यूज द कॉस्ट प्राइस पर यूनिट बाई ट्वेल्व परसेंट तो थर्टी सिक्स माइनस ट्वेल्व परसेंट ट्वेल्व परसेंट ऑफ थर्टी सिक्स विल गेट फोर पॉइंट थ्री टू सब्ट्रैक्ट थर्टी सिक्स माइनस फोर पॉइंट थ्री टू थर्टी वन पॉइंट सिक्स एट दिस द न्यू कॉस्ट पर यूनिट अर्लियर कॉस्ट पर यूनिट वॉज थर्टी सिक्स नाउ इट इज थर्टी वन पॉइंट सिक्स एट नाउ सी रिमेन सेम वन फोर्टी फोर नाइन हंड्रेड ऑर्डरिंग कॉस्ट फोर फिफ्टी देन टेन परसेंट ऑफ कॉस्ट पर यूनिट द कॉस्ट पर यूनिट इज थर्टी वन पॉइंट सिक्स एट टेन परसेंट इट कम्स टू थ्री पॉइंट वन सिक्स एट नाउ सब्सिट्यूट ऑल द थ्री वैल्यूज वी हैव सी ओ आई टू इंटू वन लैख फोर्टी फोर नाइन हंड्रेड इंटू फोर फिफ्टी डिवाइड बाई थ्री पॉइंट वन सिक्स एट यू आर गोइंग टू गेट ईओ क्यू सिक्स फोर वन फाइव पॉइंट नाइन एट तो राउंडेड ऑफ सिक्स थाउजेंड फोर सिक्सटीन यूनिट्स दिस द न्यू ईओ क्यू if the cost price has changed number of orders in a year annual requirement divided by ordering quantity annual requirement 144 900 ordering quantity 6416 22.58 to rounded off equivalent to equivalent to 23 orders so 23 orders we have to make in one year third part in this problem is eoq is how much if the cost per order increased by rupees 75 earlier the cost per order was 450 now to 450 you add up 75 it will be 525 this is the new ordering cost i is equal to 3.6 old the original 3.6 will remain same c <clears throat> c is the annual requirement 14490 now substitute the values eoq 2 into 14490 into 525 the new ordering cost is 525 This is the change. Divide by three point six. It comes to six thousand five hundred point nine six. So we round it off to six thousand five hundred. This is the new EO two. Number of orders to be placed in a year. Annual requirement one forty four nine hundred divided by six thousand five hundred. Twenty two orders we need to make. This is the end of problem number one. <clears throat> Now second problem I am reading out. See carefully. <clears throat> The annual requirement of a material is seventy-two thousand units. This is C. The cost of placing an order four fifty-six ordering cost O, and the carrying cost per unit per annum is three point four five. Already directly given. Previous problem carrying cost was given as a percentage. Here carrying cost directly in amount it is given. So to carry one unit for one year, the carrying cost is three point four five. You are required to find out the EOQ and the number of orders to be placed in a year. Exactly similar to the previous problem. Further, a 11% increase or decrease in carrying cost. What would be the EOQ and number of orders in a year? So first of all, without any increase or decrease, we find out what is the EOQ and how many orders should be placed. You can see EOQ 2 CO by I under root. Annual requirement seventy two thousand units. It is given. Then O oh, ordering cost per order four fifty six, and I carrying cost per unit per annum. It is not given in percentage directly. Amount is given three rupees forty five paise three point four five. Right? EOQ two into seventy two thousand into four fifty six divided by three point four five. You are going to get four thousand three sixty two point six nine. Rounded off four three six three units. This is the EOQ. Number of orders in a year. Same formula. 
annual requirement divided by ordering quantity annual requirement 72000 ordering quantity 4363 so 16.5 so it is equivalent to 17 orders so in one year 17 orders have to be placed now secondly what is the EOQ if carrying cost increased by 11% the old carrying cost was 3.45 old carrying cost now in this old carrying cost 11% we have to increase add the so new carrying cost will be 3.45 this is the old one plus 11% it comes to 3.8295 3.8295 is the new carrying cost now substitute 2 into 72,000 into 456 divided by 3.8295 under root it comes to 4.40.88 or 4141 units this is the new EOQ and number of orders to be placed 72,000 divided by 4141 it comes to 17.39 because after decimal it is less than 5 so I am rounding off to 17 orders or you can write 18 orders also that's all now EOQ is how much if carrying cost decrease by 11% it is asking you for increase as well as decrease so if carrying cost decreased by 11% so what is the old carrying cost 3.45 so 3.45 minus 11% 3.0705 this is the new carrying cost per unit per annum now substitute 2 into 72,000 into 456 divide by 3.0705 after root you are going to get 4624.44 or 4624 units this is the EOQ and number of orders to be placed annual requirement 72,000 divide by ordering quantity 4624 15.57 orders so we can't make fractional orders whole number so we round it off to 16 so 16 orders have to be made in one year that's it so first two problems I have explained regarding EOQ third problem is on levels calculate the reorder level maximum level minimum level average stock level from the following data so different levels you have to remember the formula four levels it is asking reorder level maximum level minimum level and average stock level reorder quantity 1500 units reorder period four to six weeks that means minimum period four weeks maximum period six weeks normal period in between these two average four plus six <clears throat> divided by two you will get five weeks four plus six divided by two five weeks the so minimum period four weeks my maximum period six weeks and normal period will be five weeks maximum consumption 400 units per week minimum consumption 250 units per week and normal consumption 300 units per week now from this information we have to calculate reorder level first the formula for reorder level is maximum consumption into maximum reorder period so in the problem it is given maximum consumption 400 units per week and maximum reorder period is six weeks so 400 into 6 2400 units that is the reordering level everything depends on formula so you have to remember the formula maximum consumption into maximum reorder period now secondly maximum stock level now remember the formula maximum stock level is equal to reordering level plus reordering quantity minus now start a bracket in bracket minimum consumption into minimum reorder period if you remember the formula easily you can do it now reordering level just now we have calculated 2400 reorder quantity that is given in the problem reorder quantity 1500 units so reorder quantity 1500 minus minimum consumption is 250 units that is also given in the problem minimum usage minimum into minimum reorder period minimum reorder period is four weeks so 2400 plus 1500 3900 minus 250 into 4 is 1000 
तो 3900 माइनस 1000 2900 इज़ द मैक्सिमम स्टॉक लेवल ना मिनिमम स्टॉक लेवल द फॉर्मूला इज रीऑर्डरिंग लेवल माइनस नॉर्मल यूसेज इनटू नॉर्मल रीऑर्डर पीरियड नॉर्मल कंसम्पशन इनटू नॉर्मल रीऑर्डर पीरियड यू कैन कॉल इट एस यूसेज और यू कैन कॉल इट एस कंसम्पशन now reordering level just now you have calculated 2400 minus normal consumption is given in the problem last line 300 units and normal reorder period is not given minimum is given maximum is given so we can take the average minimum is 4 maximum is 6 the so 4 plus 6 divide by 2 5 x 5 x is a normal reorder period So 300 into 5, 1500. So 2400 minus 1500, 900 units is the minimum stock level. Lastly, average stock level. The average stock level formula is minimum stock level plus half of reorder quantity. Minimum stock level just now you have calculated 900 units plus half of reorder quantity. The reorder quantity is given in the problem 1500. So half of 1500 is 750. So 900 plus 750, 1650 units is the average stock level. So in this first uh, video on problems, I have explained you how to calculate EOQ, how to calculate number of orders to be placed in one year, and what are the different formulas for calculating maximum stock level, minimum stock level, average stock level, reordering level. So if you want the perfect knowledge, watch all the videos from beginning till end. keep running notes of the lecture which i am giving and don't miss any single problem then only you can get a lot of confidence on the subject boldly you can face the examination so inshallah we'll continue the next problem in the next video